Suppose you want all documents containing any word beginning with MON. So this could end, you know, uh, this could include documents containing words like Monday or uh, monotonous, any word starting with MON. Now this is easy to do with a B tree dictionary. All you need to do is you need to retrieve the, the keys that lie in the range MON and MOO. Okay, you want all terms that are greater than or equal to MON but less than MOO. These would be the terms that start with MON. I'm assuming here that the ordering is defined in an alphabetical way. So we have just seen how we can use a B-tree dictionary to collect together all the terms in this range because they would all be bunched together and then we can retrieve the postings list for each of those terms individually and then take an OR of them or, or uh, an OR, OR operation on all the postings lists that would give you the result. What about a leading wildcard query? So this is called a trailing wildcard query because it, the wildcard appears uh, at the end. A leading wildcard query is one where the wildcard operator appears at the beginning. So you want all words, you want to find documents containing words ending in MON. Now this is harder to do, right, because the B tree that we just saw allows you to to search starting from the prefix. Right? If you're given a prefix, you can search for that prefix in the B tree. But here, the prefix could be anything. What you want is the word should end with MON. The suffix is what's specified over here. So a simple way to handle leading wildcard queries is to build B trees on the reversed terms. Okay, so instead of building, so if you have a word like Monday, don't use the string Monday as the key in your B tree. Use Y A D N O M. So you will, if, if, if you're trying to search for Monday, you'll search for it backwards. You'll start from Y, then you'll search for A, then you'll search for D, then you'll search for N, then you'll search for O, and then M. So if you maintain such a reverse B tree, you should be able to find all words ending with MON because in the backwards B tree, in the reverse B tree, these would be terms that start with NOM. Okay, so these are all words which are greater than or equal to NOM and less than NON. This is where you stop. This is where the range ends. So you can use the reverse B tree to handle leading wildcard queries. Now from this, can anyone explain how we could enumerate all terms meeting the wildcard query PRO wildcard CENT? So we could uh, retrieve the postings list from the proper uh, B3 for pro star and okay. then for T, N, E, C we could use the reverse list and uh, then do an and for that you would get a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how you would do it. Basically you would, you would create a result for PRO star, you would create another result, you would, you would evaluate PRO star and you evaluate star CENT separately. This one using the normal B tree, this one using the reverse B tree. So you will need to maintain two B trees in your dictionary. So once you get the terms starting with PRO star and once you get the terms ending with CENT, you will then take an intersection of both those term lists 
and you will get all the terms that satisfy this particular term. And if uh, you were interested in documents containing such terms, then you take those resulting terms, follow their individual postings list, and then take an OR of those postings list. Uh, repeat what exactly? Oh, so the exercise here is to enumerate all terms, right? So if you want the documents, you will need to first enumerate all the terms. And for each of these terms, you will need to follow the pointer to the posting list. Retrieve the postings list and then take an OR of all those postings list. Because any term satisfying this regular, exp I mean, this particular expression is something you want to consider as a candidate query term. Right? So if there is a document which contains, uh, you know, PRO. I don't know, let's, let's make a let's word, P-R-O-M-E-C-N-T. This document should be part of the answer. Another document which contains P-R-O-O-S-E-N-T. This document should also be part of the answer. Right? So if you have a postings list for this, if you have a postings list for this, if you have a postings list for every other term, it satisfies this pattern. You'll need to take an OR of all these postings lists to get the result. Is that clear? Uh, sir, uh, they, that's, uh, both these uh, wildcard queries, they only return the documents, right, sir? No? So there are two steps, right? There are two steps in the algorithm. In the first step, you will need to translate this wildcard query into a query on terms. And that query on terms is going to be a Boolean query. Okay, so let's, so in, in step one, you're going to calculate what terms satisfy this pattern. Okay, so you're going to find, you're going to get a list of terms, each of which satisfies this pattern. In step two, you're going to execute this Boolean query, T1 or T2 or T3 or T4 or Tn on the standard inverted index. Of course, in this exercise, I just ask you how you can enumerate all terms. What I'm describing here is how you would return documents satisfying this query. In the first step, you would first calculate what are the terms this query maps to. And in the second step, you would take all those terms and do an OR operation on them. Because a document containing any of those terms is a document which satisfies the query. Is that, uh, does that answer your question? Yes. I think give the mic to Salim Sir, I hope it's time up. So yeah, you can stop. Thank you.